billion years. BP means before death. And the earth was the mass, the, it, it was the segregated burning mass of the sun. So because the temperature of the photosphere, temperature of photosphere and the temperature of the core of earth is same, that is approximately 5000 degrees Celsius. Since the temperature is uh, 5000 degrees Celsius, the photosphere of the sun, photosphere of sun, it means the, there are the different theories about the origin of earth, tidal theory, planetesimal theory, uh, the, the big bang theory, but out of this we can say there is one big hypothesis. Uh, that this is the sun, our existing sun. A bigger sun passes through the uh, this celestial body, a bigger sun with bigger gravitational force pass through this uh, in that uh, space and once it attracted, when it comes over here, it attracted because this is in liquid mass, it attracted and it goes away, it could not gather it. So, the segregated mass, separated mass in the liquid form spread over and it could not move away. It, it started rotating around the earth. It spread over in the gravitational zone of the sun, existing sun. And ultimately when this segregated mass, it developed a kind of feature. So, the smaller planet the bigger planet, further bigger planet, biggest and the smaller, smaller and smaller. So eight to nine planets according to size, they, they come together, they form spores, this is the earth. So earth is one of them. So biggest one you can say there is the one more. That is, these are the nine in all. So biggest one is Jupiter. So this is basically the formation how the earth has formed almost 4.6 billion year ago a sun passed a bigger sun passed close by to the existing sun which attracted some of the mass from this existing sun which separated it spread over in the like dust in, in its periphery it remained in the gravitational zone of the sun could not move along with the this moving sun and it keep rotating around it and ultimately they gathered. There are so many uh, asteroids and comets and the unorganized celestial bodies. They, they, are, they will join gradually. Well, what all comets, shooting stars and asteroids are? They are the uh, basically the dust of the segregated sun. They are spread over still in the uh, universe they are still coming closer to their nearest planet. So they will club together gradually the formation of earth has taken place. Once when the earth formed, it was the burning mass. It was in liquid state and it was uh, very hot. The temperature of the crust and core was same earlier. Gradually it started losing the temperature. Using the temperature means it developed the atmosphere. It developed the atmosphere and heat is released from the crust to the atmosphere. So the formation of atmosphere has taken place. So many gases were released. All these gases, so the outer crust becomes hard and, and, and it, it, it uh, uh, becomes hard and the atmosphere, it releases different gases in the atmosphere. All these gases, uh, when it, like there is the one more theory, some of the areas release the heat little at very fast speed. Some of the areas release the heat at very slow speed. Like some of the areas of the crust release the heat. Suppose this is the still the, in the molten state. In, in the middle of the earth, 
interior of the earth is still in molten state. Abhi bhi garam hai. But the crust, some of the areas which release the heat little faster, they are the elevated landmass. So they they are converted into the continents. And the, some of the masses, crust of the earth crust, some of the part of the earth crust, they release the heat at very slow speed. So they become the low-lying areas, they are converted into oceans. So their density is generally, what is the density of water? Density means weight in gram, in cubic centimeter. So density of water, pure distilled water, density of water is always 1. Density of oil or petroleum is always, water. oil is lighter than water, so it always floats on the water. So you know, you know, the density of petroleum, the density of petroleum we measure on the bomb scale. You must be knowing bomb scale. Bomb scale is the one unit to measure the density of petroleum. Density of petroleum ranges from 0 0.77 to 0 0.99. This is the density of petroleum. It means petroleum always remains lighter than the water. Water is having the density of 1. So this density means weight in, in, in gram per cubic centimeter. This is basically we calculate the density. So this much of gram in cubic centimeter, uh, density of uh, this uh, of the continent is generally 1 to 2. The, the, the density of continents and the density of oceans since they lose the temperature very slowly, so their density is always 2 to 3. So density of continents, it means continental masses are lighter than the oceanic masses. Then earth formation have taken place. The shape of the earth, generally it is spherical or we can say spheroid, but the uh, the, the, the geographically the shape of the earth is called geoid shape. Shape of the earth is called geoid. Why geoid? Because a sphere is always like this is perfectly a sphere. This is spherical shape. So from the center this is the pole, this is the equator. The farthest point from the earth is Kilimanjaro from the core. If we say the farthest point from the core is uh, not Kilimanjaro, rather Mount Chimrozo. Where is Mount Chimrozo? This is the one of the highest peak of, second highest peak of South America. It's in uh, Colombia. Uh, so Mount Chimrozo, because it is, since this its shape is sphere, so it is having lesser length of the axis, this axis is higher. And if we have the mountain range here, so and the mountain range here, so this length is more than the Mount Everest. So Mount Everest is taller, but uh, 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 this length and this length. This length is more than this length because here it is there is this spherical shape. This length is less. This length is more. Because Mount Chimrozo, where Alexander von Humboldt, was the father of the modern geography, he worked on Chimrozo. He was the first geographer who measured the height of the uh, how height of a mountain and he established the relation with First time in 18th, 19th century, he established the relationship between uh, altitude and vegetation. With increasing height, temperature loses 
so the nature of vegetation also changes. He was Alexander von Humboldt in on Mount Chimbrol, and while climbing up, he was he, he slipped from the mountain, uh, one of the cliff of Mount Chimbrol, and he lost his leg. But with single leg, uh, he was lame. The father of geography was lame. He lost one of his leg while climbing the Mount Chimbrol. He was almost five feet three inch tall person. There was by that time there was no unit was not discovered. Unit you can say unit of measurement uh, of height or length. There was no meter. There was no feet. There was no universal scale by that time, so he developed a height. He, he took a stick of equal to his height, and he always measured with the stick. This is the height of the mountain. So he measured the height of the mountain. He find the different flora, different fauna, nature of vegetation changes. So the nature of wildlife also changes with increasing height. He was the one. So uh, this is Mount Chimrojo. I'm just highlighting since I use the word Chimrojo. So I should explain Chimrojo. Chimrojo is still an uh, active mountain, uh, a volcanic mountain in, in South America. It is uh, uh, on the convergent plate margin between American and Pacific plate. It is on the ring of fire in South America. So that's why it is the active volcano. Still it is active, Mount Chimrojo. Uh, since uh, uh, I, I, I was just explaining uh, the shape of the earth, shape of the earth, when we use the word spherical, spherical is a geometrical term, where straight lines are there, straight curves are there, but the shape of the earth as I told when it pulled down, it was pulling down gradually, it was not in a straight line. Sometimes it pulled down at very fast speed, sometimes it pulled down at very slow speed. So the shape of the earth become undulated. So the shape of the earth, the shape of the earth is like this. Sometimes, so it is not like when when it is, it is like this. Sometimes mountains, sometimes plateaus. Though sphere, sphere is a geometrical term, I said. But this is geographical shape. Though broadly it is spherical. But on this sphere there are the up and downs, no straight lines, no straight curvatures. So that's why this shape of the earth is called geoid shape. Shape of the earth is called geoid. Now, when the earth was losing the temperature from its crust, it was pooling down, crust formation had taken place, then gases started reacting with each other and the formation of water had taken place. When the water formation had taken place, where the water will go? Water formation. Formation of water. So the low-lying areas are filled with the water. They are called ocean. So this is the formation, the, the first stage of the formation of the earth crust. And uh, uh, in this earth crust, uh, there is need to explain the geological time scale. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm very, uh, I'll take little more time to explain the geological time scale so you can understand the formation of entire earth crust. Uh, and the different geomorphic features on the earth crust. So, uh, the, let me explain the geological time scale. What is uh, the, the geological time scale? The age of the earth. Is of the earth. Just you 4.6 billion year BP before the Like uh, age of the earth. When we calculate the age of the earth, like uh, when we calculate age of the time, present time, 
we have the watch we measure the time in hour minute and seconds we have units of time so we have separate units to measure the time of the earth age of the earth so the largest time is called era this is one of the measurement of the age of the earth second time is called period and period is further subdivided into epochs there are the three units to measure the age of the earth the first era first era is called uh, azoic azoic era or sometimes it is also known as archean this is the archean era there was neither any period nor any epoch the total length total length of this period was uh, from it originated from 4.6 to 0.5 billion year to this much of billion year it gone through such a long time out of the total age of the earth 4.1 billion year earth took to cool down this was the phase in azoic period the formation of the crust this is the formation of the crust has taken place so formation of crust means formation of atmosphere 